Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I've got a really cool knife to share with you guys today, and we're going to be taking a look at a full custom uh, Butch Ball Scorpion. And this is the newer Scorpion. He did have a previous model uh, prior, and I'll talk about that uh, in a minute. But uh, in case, I, I'm sure most of you have heard of Butch Ball, but uh, I think his name really kind of hit the scene a big in a big way when he did the collaboration with Benchmade on the uh, Benchmade 300, which was their first uh, flipper, and it utilized the axis lock. So um, that's when I first heard of Butch Ball, um, and then I was really turned on to his customs when I saw a video that Terra Fanatic did, and so I contacted him, was able to get on a on a on his list. And at that time, it was a very short list. Um, essentially, I just had to wait for it to be built. Um, and now his list is a bit longer. But anyways, uh, Butch Ball is a custom maker. He's been making knives. He essentially started around, I believe it was 1990 or so, um, when he worked in a machine shop down in Florida. Um, he built, uh, I believe, a few hundred knives at that time. And, and then um, he kind of took a hiatus until he moved to Virginia and he kind of built his own shop. And then he started making custom knives again back in 2001. So we're in 2014. He's been um, a part-time knife maker for the last 13 years now. Um, and his work is, is just beautiful. Um, it really is an incredible piece. Um, so actually, uh, an interesting note, before um, he did the Benchmade 300, he actually had a previous model with Benchmade, um, and that was called the... Uh, T-Rod, and that was actually put out under the Harley Davidson line. And if I can uh, link a, a picture here, I'll go ahead and do that. But it was a essentially a small fixed blade, and then it had a push button lock, and then the knife would pivot in the center of the handle and turn into a push dagger. So um, really interesting design. I hadn't heard of it before. Um, I had the opportunity to speak to him on the phone prior to this video, and he, he shared that with me. So um, check out the T-Rod. It's, it's now discontinued, as is the entire Harley-Davidson line under Benchmade. But um, really cool design, really cool model. Um, and then, as I said, this is the Scorpion. Um, and this one, I, um, I had the opportunity to work with him to build. So the knife comes um, in this nice little case. It's lined with uh, this... I don't know, wool or felt type material, um, really nice case. And then mine also came with a, excuse me, certificate of authenticity. Um, the Scorpion number 11, date of the build, Chad Nichols. Uh, this one is a double bolstered with a titanium liner lock, ball bearing pivot, and so forth. So that's what comes with the knife essentially. So anyways, let's get to the knife. So as you can see, this utilizes uh, Chad Nichols Blackout Damascus, uh, both for the blade. It does have a double bolster, and then um, it uses Mother of Pearl for kind of the main portion of the handle here. So this is, uh, you know, definitely kind of a full dress, um, really the best of the best materials, just a beautiful, uh, you know, presentation knife. But I've actually carried this and used this. Um, it's well built, came very sharp. So... Um, Butch actually builds everything by hand. He doesn't utilize any smart technology. His shop essentially com is comprised of, you know, uh, a drill press, grinders. Um, he does his own heat treat there in his shop, bandsaw. Um, I mean, everything he does is essentially handmade, so there's no smart technology involved. Um, so that just gives you an even better appreciation for his work. Um, and he does have a 9 to 5. He does work 40 hours a week, so he's just kind of part-time. He does these in the morning before work and then on the weekend. So, you know, it takes a little bit longer, but, um, you know, I think it's it's certainly worth it. And his wait time is currently only six months. Uh, when I ordered mine, it was essentially six weeks. It's now six months. Um, in the near future, I'm, I'm going to assume it's probably going to be a year before Christmas. So he was excited. He was also a little scared about the idea of having that many people waiting for stuff. But um, he's a really great guy. Um, just an absolute gentleman, and uh, he was very communicative, communicative, communicative during the entire build process. Um, you know, via he sent me some, texted me some pictures. We we had emails, um, and then he was just an absolute gentleman on the phone as well. So, you know, I wouldn't hesitate to reach out and contact him, talk to him about things. Um, just a really nice guy. So let's talk about the specs on this knife. Um, it utilizes essentially a uh, kind of 3.17 inch blade. 
so roughly 3.1. Handle's about four and a half inches, um, so the overall length is going to be about 7.6 inches thereabout. Um, you know, a little bit smaller, great EDC size. Um, the Scorpion is, I believe it's kind of an evolution a little bit of the 300. It's really in the same um, size range as the Benchmade 300. So I did do a review on that knife. If you check back into my video feed, um, I believe I did it a couple months ago. And then this is the second Scorpion. The first one, um, right here on the tail, it had, it came out to a point essentially. And then he has since rounded that off um, on this kind of newer version of the Scorpion. And then he was kind enough to allow me to share that he's actually working on um, another variation of the Scorpion. Um, it'll actually have a four inch blade, but it will carry the same dimensions as far as the, the handle thickness. So it'll just be a little bit longer in the handle, a little bit longer in the blade. Um, and I wouldn't have any qualms with that since I do have very large hands. But uh, anyways, back to the specs. So about 7.6 overall um, inches for the entire knife. The handle thickness um, is 0 0.506 inches thick. So it's, um, you know, it's got a nice kind of thin profile to it. It carries very well in the pocket. And then the overall weight is 5.35 ounces. And obviously with, uh, you know, kind of the double bolsters um, on both sides, mother of pearl. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's got a nice weight to it. I typically like knives over five ounces and that's just something I've discovered after owning many, many knives. So um, really good size, really good weight. Um, obviously, again, this is the Chad Nichols Blackout Damascus, which is uh, really popular right now. Um, and then this nice mother of pearl here. So the fit and the finish is, is really nice. Um, everything is really well um, contoured, very comfortable in the hand. Um, really nice transitions between the materials. Um, the blade is beautifully etched, nice and sharp. Has a very even um, cutting edge on both sides. So that was very well done. And this uses, I believe he said, AKS bearings. It's a, it's a caged um, or a captured bearing system. Um, and they are stainless steel bearings. I think he said it uses about six or eight balls um, on each side here. So very, very smooth. Um, and it flips very well. Now it does use a, um, a titanium, titanium liner. So the contact point is titanium. A little bit of lock stick, but really not, not a whole lot. So I'm not really too concerned about it. I'm able to disengage it very easily. So... So this is a tactical knife, um, but it's also very much a dress knife. Um, it's nice and solid, you know, no wiggle in the in the pivot at all. And uh, one thing that I really like is, that hopefully you can see it, but essentially there's a little bit of a notch right there, assuming that you can see it, um, so that the detent ball actually is able to come up onto the tang much easier. That makes for a much smoother engagement and disengagement. Um, one, I pointed that out in my uh, Guardian Tactical review of the Helix. Um, so they're also a, another company that does that. But I really like that. I wish more makers would do that because it, it, just, it just makes for an even smoother um, deployment and disengagement because it's not, the detent balls are not having to hop up onto the tang. It essentially transitions into it. So um, very well done. Flips just, just beautifully. Um, again, it's, it's very, very smooth. You can light switch it. You can do the push button, um, and then the harder you flip it, you know, the further over the engagement will be. So, has a nice thumb ramp here, beautiful swedge on the blade. You've kind of got this slight recurve. Um, it, I, I love the blade shape, um, and then it's that thumb ramp with the jimping here. Um, it's just very comfortable, locks it in very well. There's not a choil, but you do have this unsharpened portion here. Um, and then you, the flipper tab kind of acts as a guard, so you can choke up on it and get in for you know a nice closer grip without any problems whatsoever. So um, again, I've mentioned this in all videos, but I do have extra large hands, but I'm able to get um, a full grip on this. So your first finger goes here into the twirl, you've got the other two here, and then there's kind of this third little one right here where your pinky locks in, and it makes for a comfortable, um, you know, comfortable hand grip. So. Uh, reverse grip is very comfortable as well. But uh, anyways, you've got two standoffs here on the back, actually three. 
um, just barrel spacers. And uh, there is a, if you see that small black line here between the um, the titanium liners and the uh, mother of pearl, that's, I believe he said it was a, uh, a vulcanized liner material. And what it does is it helps stabilize the uh, mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is actually quite difficult to work with. It, it wants to chip very easily, so that helps to stabilize it. It might also act as a cushion a little bit, so you don't have the mother of pearl directly against the titanium. So... Essentially, it helps keep it um, from from cracking and chipping and so forth. And uh, this knife is, is really nice to carry. I've, I've enjoyed carrying it and using it, even though it is, you know, obviously a very beautiful showpiece. Um, you know, I don't have any safe queens. Now, the pocket clip, it's this chrome stainless steel um, pocket clip. Um, you know, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing really special, but I really like it um, kind of with the overall aesthetic. It's very minimal. Um, it's very functional. I've, it hasn't scratched at all, so it's it's quite robust. Um, and then with a knife that has obviously as smooth of a material here as Mother of Pearl, you definitely want it deep carry in your pocket um, because this is you know it doesn't offer a lot of traction. The uh, the blackout here actually has quite a nice uh, quite a lot of texture to it for a, a Damascus steel. Um, feels quite nice, but overall, obviously, it is. Um, kind of a low traction knife, so the deep carry pocket clip certainly helps um, without distracting or taking away, so yes. Anyways, let's do an up close look. Now as I mentioned, Butch does um, have that larger scorpion coming that's kind of, kind of being the range of a four inch blade, but primarily what he's making is these newer scorpions and then also his custom 300s. And right now, he's making about 90% folders, 10% fixed blades. So, obviously, the majority of people want folders. Um, and the ways that you can reach him are pretty much Facebook. Well, no, not Facebook. He doesn't have a Facebook page, but he does have his website, and he does have Instagram. Um, so, he's just started posting on Instagram. He's also done a few kind of um, one-offs for sale on Instagram. So, I would definitely recommend that you follow him there, kind of check him out. And I'll put the links to his website and to his Instagram below so that you can follow him if you're currently not doing that. Um, he does like to work in batches. So, um, you know, he was working on, I think, a group of maybe 10 scorpions at a time. And I was able to just barely snag one of the last spots um, when this one came out. Um, and again, he's currently at six months, but he does like to work in batches. It makes it easier for what he does. So if you do contact him, you do get on his books. Um, you'll just have to see what models he's currently working on. And uh, and then you can choose the materials. He does use uh, Mother of Pearl. He uses Ivory. He uses Alabama Damascus. He uses Chad Nichols Damascus. Um, he does use, I think, uh, 154CM as well. He did, uh, I think Terra Fanatics had a really cool heat treat. He just left on the blade, which was uh, very beautiful, nice aesthetically. Um, but he pretty much does just about everything. I mean, um, you know, he's a guy who's, who's willing to try new stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm sure he'll have more models coming out. You know, as a maker, no one wants to get bored and continue making the same models for a year straight. So, you know, he might have new models coming out when you're on his books. Um, and then when your turn comes up, you know, you can see what he's currently working on, what materials he has. Um, and, you know, he's just, a, again, a great guy. So communication was excellent. Um, very happy with the purchase and his prices. I mean, considering that this is a handmade, you know, full dress you know, knife, I mean, you would expect it to be quite expensive, but, um, you know, I won't say what his prices currently are, but they're very, very reasonable. Um, this one was less than 800 so, um, you know, contact him, see what he's working on, kind of check his prices. I think it's definitely worth a look, and with his wait list currently only six months, um, you know, why not? I mean, most other makers out there have years and years to wait, and that's just not fun, so... Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, really enjoyed this piece, just absolutely beautiful. Um, and, you know, perhaps I will have the opportunity to review more of his knives in the future. Um, but follow him on Instagram, see what he's working on. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Comments or questions. Um, if you've had other experiences with Butch, you know, feel free to share below. Um, I think he's still kind of underrated as far as custom knife makers go, so it's a good time to jump on and see what's going on. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you're enjoying the videos, and uh, catch you on the next one.